What is good, guys? It's Ray J back with another video. And this one breaks down what's going on with the overall market, what you should be watching for moving forward. I'm also going to talk about some big news that just came out involving Goldman Sachs, how this may affect the markets, and what you should be watching for on SPY, Tesla, the QQQ, and many tickers out there for this morning. But before I break anything down about all these earnings that are coming out and so what's going on with the market, let me just mention a couple of things. Firstly, I am not a financial planner, so take none of this as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble, the link down below and deposit any amount of money into the account, you are guaranteed up to 12 free stocks. The offer ends very soon, so check it out before they run out. With that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So I'm looking at SPY, this thing's up just a tiny bit in the pre-market. However, we did have some negative news that came out for the markets as we saw some misses in earnings, which are very important to note. But first, let's talk about the economic data. Uh, today is going to be Wednesday. We just have the building permits data coming out. Uh, I think it just came out right now, and this is looking pretty decent, basically meeting expectations, which is good. And besides that, there's not much else coming out from this end. But the bigger thing is going to be the earnings coming out. We just got Goldman Sachs and a couple of others, and Goldman Sachs isn't making all the headlines, as this was the biggest one for the pre-market. However, don't forget today, we have Tesla, Netflix, United, IBM, and a bunch of other big earnings like Discover all coming out today after the market closes. So be ready for more volatility because of this, and Tesla is looking very interesting heading into earnings, as it's once again gaining more strength from a technical standpoint. However, there is one thing we have to talk about, and that is Goldman Sachs, which just reported earnings today, and things are not looking that good. Their profits crashed 60%, and looking at their actual details, they missed on EPS, but they did beat on revenue. So their investment banking revenues are down 20% year over year. Their fixed income uh, and other things are down about 26%, and the assets and wealth management revenues are down 4%. So not a very good earnings from Goldman Sachs, and that's going to have a big effect on the markets. Now, looking at what we should be noting for, according to CNBC, is the Dow continued its hot streak on Tuesday, scoring its seventh consecutive positive day to finish its highest point since April 2022. Once again, we're getting many, many green days in a row consecutively, and that is making me a little bit suspicious. And, you know, I would just note that there is a possible pullback that could be coming because of the negative earnings for Goldman. But right now in the pre-market, the market's holding up. So we're just going to have to wait and see if that ends up happening. There's also talk coming out about how uh, there's some new antitrust division and federal trade uh, laws coming out with new guidelines about how urgencies are going to be approaching emerges and etc and finally when it comes to goldman they had earnings for not that good so please be ready for this they missed on some expectations the majority of them so it's just worth noting and once again we had the news about microsoft which came out which is still bullish for them at least as of right now and we can see right over here i think a new piece of news just came out in real time microsoft has agreed to extend the deal uh to about october 18th so that's some good news for them uh, once again, just wanted to note that. And finally, last but not least, the big dog for today is going to be Tesla reporting their earnings very, very soon. And they're going to be millions and millions of people watching it. It's going to be massive and this is going to affect the share price big time. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens after this. Anyways, now let's talk about the market, what's going on with it. In the pre-market, SPY is up 0.06% as of right now. However, I am not necessarily like insanely bullish just yet because I just want to mention the news that came out this morning was not very good. I mean, Goldman missed on earnings. And also yesterday I was talking about interactive brokers and Alliance, uh, Western Alliance and all these different banks. They missed on earnings as well after the market closed. We had very mixed earnings, not so good yesterday after the market closed. And then this morning we had Goldman, which is not so good. So it's favoring a potential pullback that could be coming. But just to be safe, uh, right now, what, what we're basically doing in the pre-market is we're trading kind of sideways. Uh, we're basically stuck here, but we're, <laughs> we're going to be watching 454 as our major support. Do we hold or do we break it? If that breaks, if it breaks below 454, you're going to be watching this thing come all the way down to this imbalance down here at 453.7 and potentially the 453 area. Now, is it going to be a big pullback? Not really. I don't really think it's going to be that significant, but I do believe the odds do favor that just to be safe watch for confirmation, however. And if we're bullish, if somehow the market doesn't care and there's some other good news and it just tries pumping, if it breaks above this 455 resistance, it has nice potential to start pushing higher to 456.02, then potentially the 457.8 area after that. What do I think is more likely? Well, like I said before, I'm leaning in the direction that uh, the market's going to try to hold up a little bit and maybe cool off a tiny bit 
come back to the 453.4 area at the very least in the 5 minute 200. I'm leaning more in that direction because of the negative earnings that came out. Uh, but we can always get a bounce later on. So maybe it drops just a couple of dollars and tries to bounce once again, thanks to the hype associated with other earnings. So that's what I'm seeing for SPY, just a slight little pullback before it tries to bounce. I'm not seeing it like tanking very hard as of right now. But just in case, if it does break below the 453.4 area, you're going to be watching the mid 452s and 452 flats and then you know other levels but like i said before not expecting it to be too bad i just wanted to note that as for tesla this thing is pumping in the pre-market it's currently actually breaking to a new high hitting 295 i think tesla's looking very bullish right now and it looks like tesla's going to try to go for 300 at the very least however please be aware that you know we have earnings coming out after the market closes and tesla could go either way it may pump all the way up to the 330s uh overnight or it may come all the way down to the 250s in a big rug pull after earnings you know these are just like hypothetical numbers i made up but i'm just saying like there's gonna be a big move after the market closes so make sure you're ready for that for apple it's very flat it's a tiny bit in the red it was looking a little bit weak yesterday very very flat for now uh, we're going to be watching, could it come down to 192.5? I think it might get a retest of this and try to balance, but I, I think it's just going to remain kind of sideways for the time being. For the triple Q with the Microsoft news that came out, it's actually a little bit up for now, but we're going to be watching this 387 resistance. If we break it, it's going to get closer, in my opinion, to about 390. If we fail to do so, it's going to come down to 386. Now, I'm going to be open-minded no matter what happens, okay? I'm prepared for anything, but I want to note that there's a good chance it's going to come down to these pre-market levels, retest 385 flat, and then potentially the 384 level. I think it may cool off just a little bit because of some negative earnings, but then it may try to bounce intraday and make its way right back to these levels. And I think it's going to outperform SPY today because tech is once again going to likely be very excited about these big earnings. For NVIDIA, it's holding up quite nicely. It may pull back to about 472 or so, a little bit lower. But then I'm going to be watching and trying to balance and get very close to this imbalance zone, right, like right about here in this 479 area. I think it's going to drop a little bit first, retest like 470 or so, maybe a little lower uh, around this entire like 470 to 472 area, and then try to balance after that. And eventually it's going to try to push up later on by the end of the day. And I think it's holding up quite nicely. On the four hour time frame, you can see it's looking quite bullish right now. Uh, it's making higher highs and higher lows and it's continuing to uptrend in my opinion that 500 plus targets coming very soon over the next couple of weeks if the market were to pull back a bit this would slow nvidia down so there could be a little downside coming especially with these negative earnings but that does not change the facts that this thing has so much potential i am going to be anticipating a very very nice run approaching august uh in by the time it gets to like mid-august or so microsoft is up a little bit after that deal uh, last but not least, I'm going to mention just like Meta before I end this video for the pre-market. For Meta, it's actually up quite nicely in the pre-market at this 313 level. On the five-minute time frame, we're going to be watching these levels very carefully. So if it breaks below 312.5, it's going to like to get a retracement to 310, then potentially 309, and then 307. If you're bullish, you want to see 316. How is this looking from a technical standpoint? Well, it's been making higher highs and higher lows, still continuing to uptrend. If it does gap up, I think it's going to come down to fill the gap. Uh, it's going to likely drop all the way back down to 310 or so. But then it's going to try to base, get a nice balance. And we might see Meta try to push up for about 316 by the end of the day. So I'm seeing the many stocks following this trend potentially maybe dropping in the morning, then potentially bouncing intraday. Even for like SPY, for instance, I think it may drop in the morning and then try to bounce. Uh, we might get a small drop once again to this like uh, 454 area down to 453.5 or something like that and then try to bounce afterwards that's what i'm seeing for the markets and that's how things were looking looking at some negative earnings but please note that these earnings are still relatively small compared to what's about to be coming later on today from tesla netflix united ibm all combined with other banks and discover this is going to be a big day so get ready for it and with that said watch your levels and remain calm cool and collected i will see you guys in the next one market to the moon as the long term is still incredibly bright and peace out.